Well, the statistics are startling. Sudden unexpected infant death is the number one cause of death in babies aged 29 days to one year old. BJC hospitals that care for newborns are working hard to change those stats. Dr. Brianne Colvin is a neonatalist with BJC hospitals, and she is here this morning to talk more about what they are doing. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, so what are some steps that BJC itself is taking? So we worked, we've worked really hard over the last several years to improve how we take care of babies in the hospital to really show parents how to um, perform and promote safe sleep, not just in the hospital, but when they go home in order to help reduce the risk of sudden unexpected infant death. Yeah, some of those statistics, the, the uh, national average, 93 deaths per 100,000 live births. Why is St. Louis in, in the Missouri area even higher than those national statistics? So. It's a hard question to answer. There's a lot of reasons. I think one of the biggest reasons we see that when we look at the data, um, more than half of our babies who do die of sewage um, die because they're in an adult bed. So it's so important to make sure that that baby is sleeping in a crib for every sleep. And then you have a program, Cribs for Kids. What is that? Yeah, so Cribs for Kids is a wonderful national organization that has a hospital certification program um, where uh, our BJC hospitals that care for infants um, worked really hard over a couple of years to gain this promotion that recognizes hospitals that have that commitment to safe sleep. And then, then thus, when we get that certification, we're really showing the community that we have that, sort of, that, we have that commitment um, to, promote, pr to promote infant safe sleep. And you have one way to remember safe sleeping for infants. They're the A, B, C, Ds. Yeah. What are those? So A stands for alone. That means we want the baby by themselves in the crib. Um, B stands for back, so on their back to sleep for every sleep, never on their side or their stomach. Um, C is crib, so we always want the baby sleeping in a crib, not an adult bed, not a couch, um, not a car seat, not anything upright, so always flat on their back in that crib. And then D is don't smoke. It's so important to avoid smoke exposure um, really for any, child, for any child, but mostly for a lot for babies as well. Yeah. Do you think that, Dr. Colvin, as we're looking at this, BJC is taking steps mm -hmm. that more hospitals will and we can see those rates reduced? Uh, that is our hope. Now, I will say BJC system is the first hospital system to gain the certification, but we know the other ones are working on it as well. Um, and I think as, as, um, as we work together, we as a group can really help um, decrease those statistics in our, in our area. Absolutely. Dr. Brian Colvin, thank you so much for your time this Absolutely. morning. We appreciate it. And to learn more about safe sleep guidelines and tips from St. Louis Children's Hospital, just go to stlmoms.com.